and I will give you, okay, about two minutes because I, I told you, please bring your calculator with you because we need to work. We need to participate. We need to have, okay, and I will, I was going to send it yesterday, but I was got, I got distracted, so forgive me, but here it is. Okay, a problem. For work for a nine foot high concrete wall is required. The rate of the placement is estimated to be 15 feet per hour with normal internal vibration and vibrator immersion okay, not exceeding four feet. The concrete is to be used content type two cement and a retarder and the unit width is given. The concrete will be placed okay at a temperature of 80 Fahrenheit. What is the maximum design lateral force? And this is bound per square foot. Okay, you have the equations. You have the, the problem in the front of you. And let us see what who is going to come up with the first answer? Okay. One moment. One moment. Oh my God, he's asking for additional time. Okay. No problem. I will give you another minute. And let me grab the question from one of you. Okay. And I have a question from our friend Martinez. Okay. I will answer it after. Okay, I get an answer here, D as in dog. Okay, we are going to vote in November. I have one vote for D as in dog. If somebody can support him. Yeah. Do you support him? Okay, so I have two. I have one vote here, by the way, for B as in boy. I'm still waiting. And I apologize for those who are online that I didn't send it, but I'll promise you in the future, I will send the mini exam before we start the next lecture. And I will do my best to send it to you during the break, but I will not 
solve any other problems from this mini exam. But I use this as a guideline for a, for a reason, because I remember. So the R is given to be 15 feet per hour. And in my book, I will show you how to calculate that because he is nice, he give it to you, 15 feet per hour. First of all, is this a wall or a column? It is a wall. So the first thing that will be my attention, the type of the member. Okay, and he gave me it is nine feet high because there is a limit on the height. And he gave me the temperature. And he gave me the unit weight of the concrete. This, by the way, this is, normally we use this as a gamma concrete, but as I told you, they use W, lowercase W. The uh, ASCE, they are using W. That's fine, we'll respect that. I wish that they keep it gamma, at least we'll not mix it. But they decided to do that. This is why I keep it here as a W. Okay, so I kept it here in my book because I have to follow the code. So again, again, when we talk about the minimum, so I need to come to this table here. It is a wall, so I am here in the orange box. And I have the rate. How much is the rate? So if the rate is less than seven feet per hour, I am in, in under these two. But unfortunately, I am in this rate here. And this is for any height. Okay? So this is the appropriate equation. Agree or disagree? We have to agree on something before we proceed. They agree. It is US or the SI units? It is US. So I'm using this equation here. So this is the equation I'm going to use. So, oh, this is piece of cake. If this is the equation, and I needed to think this way during the exam. Okay, they will give you a lot of parameters. We need to know what is applicable and what's not applicable, especially the empirical formulas. As you know, equations, equations, there are two types of equations, and I'm sure that you know that. The mathematical formulation, the mathematical equations, the one based on mathematical formulation, and there are some empirical formulas, empirical equations. Empirical equations, it is, it, uh, empirical equations are the result of testing. They did a lot of testing and they are using some mathematical formulation to come up with an equation that it will fit the results. For example, the models of elasticity for concrete E sub C we determined this in the lab, but they came up with one equation and you are going to see this equation. And they are using W also. You will find that it is, it is um, um, uh, um, W raised to 1.5 is square root of F sub C prime. And they multiply here, I believe 33. If I remember equation correctly. This is an empirical formula to determine the models of elasticity for concrete, empirical formula. This here, an empirical formula, they came up with the temperature and the rate and so on. So this is the equation. So empirical formulas, you have to be careful because they have limitations. It's not mathematical, it's not differential equation, and we can prove it that the boundaries of differential equations and so on. So they are saying that, oh, the C sub C is equal to F sub C, F sub W times 150 plus 43,400, and correct me if I'm wrong, if I copy the equation wrong, plus 2,800, uh, 2,800 uh, 2, R over T. So we can plug the numbers. Using the numbers here will give you a certain but what is F sub C and F sub W? One for the chemistry and for the weight. Okay, he is using type, which type of concrete? 
type 2 and a retarder so i will go to the famous table the one i put f sub c and pick a number what number did you pick from there 1.2 this is the first thing i will get f sub c and since i am on the same page he told you that the unit of concrete is 155 pound per cubic foot it is above the norm normally 145 150 but as you can see this table here for the unit weight factor f sub c i have two i have the the inch bound version and i have the si so my unit weight is 155 so it is i am here so it is f sub w is equal w over 145 so in this case i say oh now i'm getting closer so the f sub c is 1.2 and f sub w I is going to be 155 over the 145, which is the base, times 150 plus 43,400. What is the temperature? 80 plus 2,800. What is R? R is 15. And divided by the temperature is 80. Math is the easy part. Anybody did this math? What did he get? 1561 and this is bound per square foot and we are lucky because we have an answer to match that okay so if you look to this you'll find that bounds per square foot psf and i will check d and go home happy and in fact this is the wrong answer because they know our mistakes and they will give us all the answers that will match our mistakes. And there is only one correct answer, and the remaining answers are to match our common mistakes. Because we ignored something, because if you look to empirical formulas, empirical formulas, they develop for us, it has some restrictions. Under this equation here, they are saying, be careful, Mr. Mansour. There is a minimum, and there is a max. I should verify this before I proceed to select my answer. So if you look to the minimum and the maximum, I will say it is, so they are saying C sub C, it should be less than or equal WH, and it should not exceed, uh, sorry, it should exceed the 600 F sub W. I have F sub W, so 600 times the 155 over 145, this is the min, by the way. This is the min, and this is the max. So if I apply the min, I will get a number. I don't know what this number, C sub C. And I apply the max, which is WH. What is W in this case? It's 155. And what is H? Is 9. So I need two numbers from you. Can you do it for me, please? What is the 9 times 155? one three nine five and what is the min 600 times 155 over 135 will give me what 600 what for one the good enough for government job my friend six okay so here it is so i have three answers i have the equation I have 13.95 and I have 641. If this is the min and this is the max, don't forget that. Which, which one should be selected? This one. And the answer B is the correct answer. We need to pay attention to that because this is a common thing that they do for all of us is to give you some equations and it does have boundaries, it has constraints, and we forget to check the constraints and we will proceed okay after that. So, so this summary here I provided. Okay, hey, please go over it and let me know if you disagree with anything. I have some tables. These tables they are available on most of the construction books. I did not invent anything, 
Maybe I came up with these tables before them or they came in before me or whoever. This is not the point. The point is there are some tables that uh, it can be a tool or a, um, a way to get the answer. Okay. Thank you very much, my friend. Okay. And this is one of them, table 13. They are saying that the concrete pressure on wall forms, concrete with type 1 and 2 and 3, gamma is given height and the slum. And for different rate, I put the equation, and for different temperature, but you remember the minimum, the minimum was 600, F sub W. So these tables, by the way, this is why you'll find the minimum is here. And you'll find that the table below that, also the minimum will govern. Because the problem we just solve, by the way, together, for whatever, num whatever number, they can give you a number. This number here, it could come 600. Let's assume or 620. It's as for the sake of discussion. That he will give you some number such that the equation will give you 620. But I have to check the minimum. 641, 641 will be the answer in this case because I should not go below the minimum. I should not exceed the maximum. Our equation gave us a number exceeding the maximum. They said this number is not acceptable. Do you see that? Here? 900? This 900, and this is 641, and this 900 will govern. 900 will govern. Our finish saying that let's assume that he gives you numbers such that the answer from the equation gives you 900. So 900 exceeding the minimum and below the maximum. So I am within the range. So this will govern. If this number, for the sake of discussion, as our friends say 900, this will be my answer. So we need to pay attention to empirical formulas because empirical formulas, they have limitations and they have some kind of constraints or conditions. And we need to pay attention 